All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, return early pattern for functions. So when a return statement is reached, the execution of the current function stops and control returns to the calling location. For example, we've got my, pardon me, we've got function my fun right here. And it's going to put uh, hello in the console right here, and then it'll return world. But right here, the uh, console.log bye bye is not going to happen because once this happens, that's the end of the function, right? So when we call it, that's what's going to happen. So let's reiterate uh, the uh, above will display the string hello in the console and return the string world. The string bye bye will never display in the console because the function exits as the return statement at, pardon me, at the return statement. All right. So now we're going to modify the function ab test so that if A or B are less than zero, the function will immediately exit with a value of undefined. So here's the hint. We're going to remember that undefined is a keyword and not a string. Gotcha. All right. So basically we're going to do an if right here. We're going to say if. And then right here, we're going to say if A is less than zero or B is less than zero. Whoops, whoops, whoops. What we're going to do is return undefined. All right. And if it doesn't do that, what it's going to do is return math.round, math.pow, math.square root A plus math.square root B to this to squared or whatever all right and if you don't know what this stuff is basically this is just giving the square root of whatever the first argument is and in this case it's going to be two uh then the square root of uh, this two so it's going to be two square root two squared because math.pow is going to have whatever this is to, to the whatever this is power and then math.round is just going to round whatever this stuff is and let's wrap this up in parentheses you got extra learning on this one. We'll say console.log. All right. I mean, you see it says eight, but that's not what we're interested in. Let's put minus on this two. It says undefined like we said up here. And then let's put minus on the other one just to prove our point and undefined on that one as well. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to counting cards and we'll see you next time.